All right, Justin, I'm guessing you're one of the guys that could probably benefit from the break that we just had. Yeah, big time. Um, I had a back injury going into it, so I was oh, I was praying for a break. Um, Nashville, I tweaked myself up pretty bad and then just trying to make a recovery and make a recovery, and I came into Denver still limping, and uh, man, it was nice to get just a few days off. I, I didn't get a lot of time, but after Denver, uh, I took I probably took three, maybe four days, like completely off. Like I, I didn't really do much at all, and um, it, it helped me a lot. Like I got on the bike, I just rode outdoors all weekend. My folks' place in Oregon, it was so good. So I just, I just pounded 40s all uh, the whole time. So I, as soon as I got back on the bike from those days off, I felt like a million bucks. But it's so hard to just keep, keep crunching those days in with when you hurt like that. So a few days off helped me, and now I feel like I improved. During the season, it's relentless. Oh, it's rough. Yeah, I mean, we, outdoors when we're coming up, we're going to have a lot of weekends off, but we don't get any Supercross. Like, you know, we have more rounds to cover, so I guess I get it. But yeah, it's tough. Are you going to be sad to see the season end, or are you, you looking forward to outdoors? Oh, it's been so rough. I just want a fresh start. You know, I know I can, I know I can do good at, at this, but I, and I know I can do good at outdoors too. So I'm, I'm almost. I'm not saying I'm shifting my sights because there's two races left and I have an opportunity to, to feel good and go do well. But um, but I'm definitely shifting my sights like, you know, training wise and, you know, just idealistically kind of towards towards that outdoor season. I'm looking forward to the outdoor season. I really am. So, um, yeah, it's a fresh start. It's, it's a clean slate and kind of drown out everything that happened, you know, all the problems I've been going through and, you know, you know how it is. Normally we don't think of you as much of an outdoor guy as as – Supercross. No, but. not I, I've been vocal about about being as specialist indoors, but it's been such a rough season. But you just never know what it's going to be. You know, I, it's a new year on a new bike. It's just all different. So I, to me, I just think that maybe it's going to take me longer to get a hold of the Supercross thing on the big bike class. I really don't know. I, and most people probably wouldn't have thought that because when I first rode it, I just like got right out there and looked really good. But it's a different game when you have a lot of time on the bike and you, you can start realizing what's really going on and and um, you know fi finding little you, you kind of find little problems along the way if, if you pay attention you know but uh, i'm looking forward to to getting through these last couple feeling good like feeling pretty healthy and because i've only really had a couple races this year where i felt com completely healthy so that's been the, the tail of the year you know so I, i'm just i'm just excited to ride healthy for a couple rounds and and shift and start start brand new it's your chance to show something. It's my chance right here, right now, especially with a little bit of rain. It's a shakeup. You know, we, I, I don't know how much we're getting a lot right now. I don't know if we'll get any tomorrow, but if it's mud, I'm actually, I'm fine with it. I'm excited. Yeah, press day and it's uh, pouring outside. Thunder and lightning. So we're, we're having a good time. We're just turning the PlayStation on. We're gonna we're about to hit, hit it up. About to play some MX Unleashed. The real OG the, game. The first one, get it going. PlayStation but. 2. I just have one question, because I flew in to JFK yesterday, rookie mistake. Uh, you need to fly into Newark, I learned that. But how do you live up here? Because it took me four hours to go 40 minutes, or four, about 40 miles. Okay, so he flies into JFK and thinks it's the right move to go through the city. So uh, well, he's obviously never been to New York City no. before. You can take the, the highway right around it, but... Uh, he decided to go for the tour and maybe uh, stop and park by the Empire State Building and maybe walk up to the top, yeah. check it out, the views. And the GPS didn't didn't help me out yesterday. I uh, went right through the city. So then he got uh, denied by all the the officers out there in the streets. They're all blocking him off, so he had to do some uh, some travel. I was about to yesterday. pull my hair out. But yeah, New York. It's raining. Are we gonna have a mutter tomorrow? You know what? I don't. I don't have a preference. It's gonna be what it's gonna but be. But is it gonna? Is it gonna be muddy? I. I feel like Dirtworks has got this covered. I. Yeah. I'm I think we're on. Hundred percent. A hundred percent. They have the track covered right now. I don't know when the rain's gonna stop, but I'm looking for a mudder. I, it would shake things up a bit. I think it'd be fun. We haven't had one all year. Yeah. You still got a little shot. A what? You still got a little shot. Oh, he's in it. Yeah, yeah. Seven points. I, that's a not, shot. Yeah, yeah we, we, got, we can really got this thing. We can really mix it up with the mud. Okay. I'm just excited to sit back and watch it happen. Maybe like capitalize on some of these bonehead moves that these guys are going to be doing. <laughs> yeah, it was funny last 
when me and uh, Chase went down, I went, ended up going down again like a lap later, and then I'm like, all right, like Mixel's probably doing really good right now. So I kept looking ahead of me, and I didn't see anyone. All I saw was like, you know, I saw Davos way out front, and then I, I looked behind me, and he's like a straightaway still behind me. And I'm like, man, what happened to him? Yeah, I think I was the only one behind these two when they picked themselves up. But, yeah. How, how are we feeling about this championship here? We're just excited to be racing. We're not worried about the championship. Oh, come on. It, it's in the head, but, yeah, I mean, we're, it's it's totally in our control to go out there and win tomorrow. And that's that's right. the main goal. All right. Two-round championship. Two-round championship. Basically. We'll take it one race at a time like we always do. All right. You have a question for him? Yeah, so I was out at Glen Helen and uh, – ended up going by this kid on the track and i i couldn't see his clutch lever i didn't know if he dumped it in a turn or something and what, was, what was the story on I think that he just broke off i don't know what happened it just fell off no uh i'm very 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 bad on clutches and it's a bad habit that i need to break so um team sponsored by recluse well we threw one of the model clutches in there and just took the lever off and said figure it out so i've been riding for what, probably two or three weeks with no clutch lever and it's been helping a lot it's a little awkward and a little goofy but um it's pretty funny when people see it so i ended up having a problem with uh one of my bikes we're out at pala actually riding the vet track because the main track is closed down now so i i gave it a shot on his bike and wow it was i've never ridden with one before so to just take off and like an automatic clutch is They're pretty badass it's it's unreal it's They're sick it's cool you can go out there and just you can be really smooth and kind of just flow it's a different type of flow you don't have to use any no stop go it's more just rolling through the corners and it's good it's honestly good it's pretty it's pretty fun all right now we got a little bit of bonus graphics for this weekend yeah we sure do um yeah the guys were able to put the little troll chain logo on there for the weekend so yeah, we're really living it up with the troll experience this weekend. <laughs> That's what I hear. Uh, you got something planned for tonight? Yeah, yeah. DreamWorks and Feld um, put together kind of a cool little opportunity for me to go check out the trolls experience um, over in New York. So, yes, yeah, so we're going to be some serious traffic to get over there. But I I'm looking forward to it. It should be 5 to 7, I think. And there's a bunch of people meeting us, and we're just going to go um, check out that whole trolls experience over there. So how'd the whole troll train name get started? Uh, actually, to be honest, the, it's it's been around for a little while, but um, my buddy Phil Nicoletti, he's, he was the one that kind of started calling me troll uh, back in like maybe 2012 or something. So it's it's been around for a while, but it never really I never really embraced it. I always was kind of mad because I just thought it was like you know disrespectful or something. <laughs> but then I kind of was like, ah, you know, like I could actually probably play into this and have it be kind of like a branding thing for or whatever. So um, I think all in all, it's the fans kind of embrace it and it's it gets a cool uh you know just puts a fun twist on on us riders i guess you know so what do you have to check off between now and the end of the season um well for in terms of supercross i mean i definitely definitely need to get get on the podium <laughs> you know we got two races left new jersey and vegas and we've been close a few times throughout the the year so far and i feel like i've been riding really well i've been comfy on the suzuki but just main events have kind of not been ideal for me so um yeah you know obviously that's that's the ultimate goal how about outdoors yeah or how, how you feeling about that yeah i mean uh, outdoors is that's my game I, I like outdoors a lot and uh you know we've been putting in some time putting in some motos a lot of a lot of big weeks uh especially on the off week after nashville and yeah i mean i'm i'm ready to go i'm excited i think the suzuki is going to be good outdoors um guys were able to come up with a new kind of engine spec that i think is going to help us a lot outdoors as well so um I'm, I'm ready i mean i've been second in the series quite a few times now and i feel like you know i only got one more step to go and we'll try and make it happen this year what do you think today or for this weekend with you know unfortunately you guys don't get to ride today normally that's a pretty good advantage but um you know what do you think for track conditions um, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. Like, I was hoping to ride press, obviously, but it's been raining pretty consistently for a couple hours now. So, um, I mean, I guess it's the normal situation where if you can't ride press, you just get two practices to figure the track out. But I raced here in 2014, so, you know, I got a, a vague, kind of vague memory from how the track was or whatever. It's five years ago, but, um, yeah, I don't know. It should be good for tomorrow. I'm excited. Open stadium. Hopefully the weather holds off and it's a nice day. 
Did you get to do anything fun in the city besides the you know what you got going on this evening? No, not really. Um, with traffic and everything to get over there, I'm kind of just saving it all for this afternoon. Um, I don't want to get. I, wanna, I didn't want to go over there in the morning and then in the afternoon. But I flew in last night into Lagardia, so um, just kind of hanging out at the stadium today, and then we'll cruise over for the Trolls experience later this afternoon. All right, Kyle. How's the season been for you so far? Uh, season so far has been uh, a little up and down. Um, not the way I've wanted it to go, but uh, you know we've been getting progressively better e each and every weekend. So. I can't complain there. I uh, started off a little slower than I wanted to, but um, yeah, we're, get, we're getting better and uh, had a lot of time on this break to, to work on a few things and looking for a strong finish tonight or tomorrow in my life. Nashville looked pretty good for you. Yeah, yeah Nashville was good. I uh, just wasn't quite where I needed to be just yet, and uh, this break has really, really helped out a lot. So I've had time to get better and work on the things I've needed to work on and um, yeah, looking to be up there again and stay up there. What would you like to check off between now and the end of the season? <laughs> uh, definitely another podium. Um, that's the goal. Uh, fighting for wins, get a heat race win. Uh, haven't got one of those yet. So those two are definitely the things to check off uh, hopefully this weekend. And if not this weekend, uh, we'll hopefully do it both weekends yeah. <laughs> in Vegas. How about outdoors? What's or beyond Supercross? What are your plans there? Uh, no plans as of right now. Um, still kind of waiting around to see what comes around, comes about. Uh, hopefully outdoors is a possibility. I really want to want to do it and show what I'm capable of outdoors as well. So, yeah, we'll just keep working and uh, do what we can do. Keep your fingers crossed. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see how it goes in the next couple of weeks. Awesome. Thank you guys. What are we looking at for this weekend? Um. You know, I don't know, because the last, what, two or three weeks when we've had rain the day before, it's been like bone dry. I think this is going to be one of those races, though, where you might see a really, really rutted track. I don't think you're going to see so much as like mud and slop because they keep it so covered. But I think there's no way that they're going to get the water out of the trenches and stuff like that. And I think the track's just going to be really soft. So you're going to see a, a lot of squirreliness and a lot of ruts this weekend and the track's going to be really soft. So it'll probably be a little bit slower than normal, um, but it should be fun. Looks like we're lucking out and getting the rain today and not tomorrow. Yes, but it do it still does say cloudy and covered. So that's kind of like, you know, when there's sun, I have absolutely no doubt in Dirtworks that they can get the track, you know, really rideable. But when you have as much rain as we've had today, and I mean like it's been coming down today, and then tomorrow you have cloud coverage, it's going to be hard to get that track to dry out. So what are we looking at for outdoors? Are, are you hanging um, out? or? You know what? I have that Hawaii Supercross the week after, so I think I'll probably miss Hangtown. But I'm really going to try to do Paula. Um, we'll see about Colorado, but I love Washugal. It's like my yearly trip. I go up to Washugal and then maybe hit a couple after that. But um, as far as that stuff goes, just do the West Coast stuff and then really work on finishing up. Uh, the album and doing the music, do a couple music videos this summer for everybody, get a little moto love in the trucks for the families at the track and stuff like that, and then um, just kind of do what I do best, you know? What are the goals for the last two? Um, I want to get my best finish. I got it at uh, Houston, which was a 15, but I'd li I really like to get a 14 in these last ones, especially because the fact that I think a lot of guys are, you know, out right now, and then the fatigue of the season, and I think a lot of guys are thinking, you know, the season's over, you know, get the season done and kind of get out of here and do outdoors. And uh, Supercross is my thing, and I love it, and I really want to just mentally be strong in these last few where it's like, you know, it is the end of the season, but I'm going to treat it like it's one of the first ones and really try to hammer out these last two main events.